The business actually started in, but was started by my father in 1958 um, in the basement of my home. I'm working about around my dad's uh, full-time fireman job and morphed into what we have now. Stormy Cromer really wanted a hat with a brim and ear flaps for his work at the railroad. And he lived in Kakana. Stormy Cromer had a suitcase full of hats and came in selling them. 2020 was not gonna be the year that was <laughs> gonna you know, take us down. So that was really the first thought, how, can, how are we gonna survive? Because we are an essential business uh, with the products that we produce. Um, and so very important to us and we understood right away. We have to do all we can be doing to protect our employees, especially our hourly uh, workforce that needs to be site present to, to do their job. Um, so all, all hands were on deck to ensure they had all of the equipment they needed. The mask was, it was really interesting because if I just take a hat, this edging that's on every Stormy Cormor hat is the same edging that's on the edge of a face mask. So we were making masks without even changing anything. And, um, and, it, and so it was a real interesting time for us to, to, we were just going right away. And it was crazy and the days were long and I almost have never felt more stressed in my career, but at the same time you felt so good. And so like, at least you were doing something to help and something positive. We had a delightful conversation for an hour and a half and just talked about the history of our, of our companies, uh, which was profoundly interesting, the common ties. And then from there, we started talking about what the needs of Alstrom Monk Show were right now with regard to the need for inventories of cloth masks. And by the time I hung up that evening from that conversation with Bob, um, I had a commitment, uh, his willingness and eagerness to, to aid and assist, and we cut a purchase order the next morning for the first 5,000 masks. A lot of the folks that were here were like, oh, I couldn't just sit at home. Like, that would drive me crazy. And at least I'm here and I'm doing something positive. We feel a kinship with other people who make things, right? We are makers here and so are your employees and your factory is making things. And you guys are making things that are essential for, for the world. And so we would just, you know, send our support and, um, and our gratitude for the other kinds of folks like us who have been out there, who have been making things. The uh, responsiveness of the company, Bob's company, in responding to our needs, our order needs, um, quick shipments, uh, was monumental in providing safety in a safe work environment for our employees and for their families as well, um, as we were able to mitigate um, the, uh, the spread of this virus during this pandemic time.